Hey guys, it's Mr. Ferder again. I wanted to teach you really quickly how to look at the statistics for our blogs, whether it's a Sugar Kills blog or our Kiva blog or our Channel Challenge 2020 blog. The reason that I wanted to do that is statistics are the best way for you to see proof that other people are really listening to what it is that you're saying, like that you really do have an audience. Now when you want to check out the statistics for a blog, the first thing to do is to sign into our dashboard. You should do that with the usernames and passwords that we created at school. And you land on this dashboard view, and you've seen this before. Now when you land on the dashboard view, you get a really quick view of statistics in the very center of the dashboard. That's right here. And what this quick view shows you, first of all, is our page views from about the last two weeks. So these bars in the bar graph represent the different number of views that we've gotten on each day in the last two weeks. And you can hover over those and it'll tell you more specific information like exactly how many page views did we get on those days and what content did we publish on those individual days. From this page you can also see a quick list of the posts that have gotten the most views on our blog over time. For example, the Natural vs. Added Sugars page is one of the most popular pages on our site, and over time it's gotten over 600 page views. You can also see a list right here of the search terms that people are putting into Google and finding and then landing on our blog. So these are popular search terms that end up in people visiting our blog. So I think that that short view of the statistics is really interesting. However, I always like to click on this View All button because it'll take you to a specific statistics page that gives you way more information. Now, on this specific st statistics page, you can get, again, a bar graph showing page views over time. And this looks like it's about a month's worth of our page views. I always like to look for patterns in that, and I notice that there's some low bars followed by high bars, and that's kind of a pattern. It's fun to look at those patterns and see what they mean and decide whether or not there's anything we can do about it as writers. Is there any way that we can make these low days go higher? I also like to hover over the highest bars and see what posts we published on those individual days. Because if there's days where we have tons and tons of views, it might be neat to see if there's individual pieces of content entries that people really liked. Also, on this particular page, if you scroll down a little bit further, you can see what are called refers to our blog. And what that means are links that people are clicking on to find their way to us. So when I click on the refers link today, I see this. Somebody clicked on the Salem Middle School Weebly, specifically on the club page, to get to the Sugar Kills blog. That's interesting to me because it means people are trying to find us. I also notice that people are clicking through on our Twitter posts to find our blogs as well. This box represents the top pages and posts from the last couple of days. You can see what people have looked at just today. And then if you click on this tab, you can see the posts that people looked at yesterday. Probably my favorite box, though, is this one, search engine terms, because it tells us what people are typing into search engines in order to find us. And so yesterday, somebody typed in Coke versus Pepsi and landed on our post. To me, that's the real evidence that we've got listeners on our Sugar Kills blog because people are actually going to Google and they're typing in phrases like Coke versus Pepsi and they're finding our link and clicking through to our blog. So I think that's really neat. That's super, super clear evidence that your writing matters. Now, for each and every one of these boxes, there's a little button that says Summaries. You can see it here. You can see it here. You can see it here. Now, I really like clicking on that Summaries button because what it does is it goes back through the history of our entire blog and it collates all the information for us. So it brings us back a list of everything that's happened on our blog over time. So I just clicked on the search engine terms and what WordPress is showing me right now it are all of the search terms that people put into Google or into Yahoo or into Bing and then landed on our blog after finding one of our posts. 
So in the last seven days, people have typed in natural versus added sugar and ended up on our blog. People have typed in sugar and fruit versus added sugar and ended up on our blog. People have typed in is kicks healthy and ended up on our blog. So that's really cool to me because now we know the kinds of people that we're helping. I always like to come down here and click on the all time button because I like to see over time how many people have been typing things in or the search terms that people have been using over time in order to find us. So please know that when you come to the stats page, one of the things that's really fun to do is to click that summaries button and then you can go and see the kinds of things that have resonated with people over time. And those summaries buttons exist for every single one of the stat categories. So if I wanted to go up and look at our page views over time, I could click on summaries. And they would bring me back some information about the page views that we get over time. So the stats are fun, guys. Don't avoid them. I think they're neat to go and look at. The stats are living, breathing proof that people are reading the content that you're writing and that you really are making the difference in the world that you think you are.